working on, I just started working on this today actually, um, the Dryad or Dryad, I don't really know how to say it, I think it's the Dryad by the artist Jeremiah Morelli from DIY Moonshop. This is a size 30 by 42 centimeter full square drill with poured glue adhesive. Um, right now this is just my in-between project, in-between projects project <laughs> right now. Uh, I did an unboxing to this painting, uh, which I will link down below um, in case you're interested in seeing that unboxing. Uh, it was a while ago, so I wanted to start it um, while I was waiting for my other paintings to arrive. But yeah, let's see, I will be using during this video my little tray from Bella Art de Nicole, my pen from... I think she changed the website name, uh, patrioticteam.net, and these pen tips are from the Etsy shop Lexi Lily Crafts, and I have release papers on my painting as you can see, and these are from a uh, Bev B Diamond Paints Etsy shop called Momo B, I believe, but I will link all this, all these shops and places where you can get these things or check these things out uh, down below in the description box in case you're interested. Okay, um, oh, and I'll also be using patty wax. Isn't this cute? I'm so obsessed with this. Here, I'll show you. You open it up. If I can figure out how. Here we go. And it's a little wax container from patty wax. Isn't that cute? It says distracted by diamonds on it. Love it. Um, so yeah, I'll be using all that stuff during the video. Oh my gosh, there's so many cars driving by. I'm so sorry, you guys, if you hear that. Anyways, I hope everyone had a great weekend last weekend. Um, let me tell you about my week. Nothing too crazy happened. Let me get a color first. Let me see if I said everything I had to say first, okay? Um, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so let's see what color should I... Um, I'll start off with C. C is DMC801. I have not kitted up or anything, I literally just have the bags right next to me all sloppy because <laughs> I know I'm just going to have to put it away, um, you know, as soon as the other painting comes. It's supposed to be here Thursday, so I will videotape that unboxing for you guys when it does arrive and probably post it either Friday or Saturday. Sorry, I'm looking for this color. Oh my gosh, how annoying I should have been prepared. I'm never prepared. Here it is. 801, right? Is that right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be starting with 801 DMC. It's like a brown color. Um, so yeah. What did I do? Okay, um, oh, I started gardening again. I, like, my guard, little garden was all messed up from the winter. Like, weeds everywhere and, you know just a mess so I had to pull out all the weeds in the heat it was of course record heat this week and tell me why it was record heat but we had a gnarly thunderstorm and rain like twice this week yesterday actually too it was crazy but yet it was a hundred and like three degrees it was ridiculous but anyways um yeah so I was gardening in the heat and I planted some new seeds um, I planted some marigolds some cosmos Blackberries, cantaloupe, and what was the other one? Blackberries, cantaloupe, and oh, and red peppers. So I'm really excited to see if those grow or not. Uh, I guess we'll find out hopefully pretty soon. Um, so that was fun. Uh, what else? Oh, I yeah, I started to organize my diamond painting storage area, which is uh, AKA my closet. <laughs> but stopped and now it's just a disaster. I really need to finish that up tomorrow. Like it's a little ridiculous. Um, I have a lot of, you know, paintings I started and never finished. I have a million beads everywhere I look. Like, it's just insane. I hate when the wax gets on the beads. Like, ugh, drives me nuts. Oh, I learned a trick. Well, I didn't learn it. I saw it somewhere and I'm so sorry, but I can't remember where. But I'm gonna see if it works. I, I bought some and I have it. But slime, you guys know that slime stuff that kids make? Like, and you can even make your own at home. There's a bunch of YouTube videos 
that um, show you how to do it, which granted I tried to do it, but it didn't come out very well. So um, I just ended up buying some. It was like five bucks or something um, that was already made. And it's supposed to, like, you know how you use baby wipes? Well, from what I hear, you use baby wipes to wipe the wax or whatever um, from your drills when you're done with your painting. Like, this is supposed to make, like, do that too. Take all this, like, if you have cat hair or, you know, ashes, if, cigarette ashes if you smoke or, you know, wax, whatever. Um, it's supposed to take it off your drills, like your painting or whatever. So, I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to test it out when I'm done with this and let you know if it works or not but I just wanted to share that with you guys you know just something that maybe you would like to try if you have an issue like I do with that all the time um I'm gonna have to turn this on I'm so sorry because I can't see a dang thing these letters are so hard to see sorry it's gonna be darker now in the background but okay so um so yeah I learned that that was cool um are you guys doing anything for 4th of July this weekend? It is this weekend, right? I hope so. That would sound really silly if it isn't, but... Um, it's actually me and Sammy's anniversary, July 4th. Uh, I don't, don't think we're probably gonna do anything, or if we can even afford to do anything, but... There is a, always a fireworks show every year. Um, like, two blocks away, I want to say. Maybe not even that. Um, yeah, I think we might go do that. We did that a couple years ago. Um, oh wait, does Sammy work? I think he might work, but he might not be. It's so weird. His job is so weird. He, he had, okay, he, he worked. I mean, he didn't even have to work Memorial Day, right? But if he did, he got time and a half. Okay, so he went, but it was stupid because it was only four hours. So he made less than if he went on a normal day to work, right? It was like, okay, whatever. Why did you even go? You know. But, I mean, it was still money, so he went. So, but then they had Father's Day off. Like, is that a national holiday to be off work? Like, well, I remember working in restaurants and stuff as a teenager, and we never got Father's Day off anything. It was like Mother's Day and Father's Day was like one of the busiest days of the year, you know? So, I really tripped out on that. I'm like, what? What do you mean you have Father's Day off? Like, I mean, okay, that's cool. I mean, not really, but, you know... So yeah, his job's just weird, so I don't know if they're gonna have the day off or not, but... If he doesn't, we might go do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, what are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments if you guys are doing things for 4th of July. Uh, what else happened this week? Eh, oh, I talked to my mom. She came, she went to Mexico again. Uh, let me get another color. I'm gonna use the ABs. I got the special treatment with version 3 with this painting from DIY Moon Shop, and it came with uh, three cool beads, like the chili pepper squares. This is the square one. I don't know if you guys can even, probably not. Let me turn this off again. These ones, the square uh, red chili color, and then I got the lime green that came with it. I put them in these little container things. I don't know if you can see very well, but. And then it came with these bright yellow ones, like, so cute. But yeah. Anyways, um, you know, do these real quick. So yeah, I talked to my mom, she just got back from Mexico, like, about a half, a week ago or so, but I just talked to her the other day, and I'm, like, really irritated with her. I mean, what else is new, but... So, she told my sister, like, a month ahead of time, actually longer than that, that she was gonna go up to Colorado, where my sister lives, and help her out and babysit the kid, her girls, because my nephew's having surgery tomorrow, actually, tomorrow morning. Please keep him in your prayers, guys, um, and thank you for everyone who commented on my last whip and chat, saying they would, uh, pray for him. I really appreciate you. Um, but yeah, my mom was supposed to come and help and watch the girls, so her husband, my sister's husband, you know, my brother-in-law could go with her, so she wouldn't have to go through that alone. Well, so that was, she was supposed to come the 28th, and then my dad was going to show up the 29th and take over from there, right? Um, my mom freaking bailed on her, like, two or three weeks before the surgery date. And my sister was so upset, like, she's like, wait, so you, you're going to go to Mexico, 
You've been three times this year to vacation, pretty much. My grandma lives there, but she just goes there to, like, F around, you know? Like, drink Mai Tais and sit her freaking lazy butt on the beach, you know? Like, I mean, it's just, like, I feel bad for my sister because, I mean, thank God my dad came through and, like, was able to get another day off or, a, you know, a day earlier off to go up there sooner to help my sister. But otherwise, like, my sister would have been screwed. She would have had to go through that all by herself. Go to Denver the night before, because it's like an hour away from where she lives. You know, sleep in a hotel room by herself and prepare her son for a surgery that's, like, getting his leg cut off. Like, oh my gosh. My mom's just, like, it's just weird. She's so selfish. Like, and then she's, she tells my sister, like, oh, I'm babysitting my friend's puppy again. And my sister's like, oh, that's cute. You can babysit someone's puppy, but you can't babysit your grandkids. You know, like, I mean, it was messed up, but it was kind of funny at the same time, you know, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's true though, it's like, oh shoot, of course, just gonna spill the beads everywhere, but yeah, you know, it's like, I just felt bad for her, she called me crying, and I was like, well shit, I can't go up there, there's no way in hell, I can't even afford to go to a restaurant for dinner, let alone go to freaking Colorado for a day, you know, like, hell no, but I was like, well, because this is before we knew my dad could, you know, go get another day off work and I was like you know worst comes to worst let me know and I'll spend all the money I have which is nothing but I was like I'll do whatever whatever it takes you know to find a babysitter or like something you know like because I just felt so bad for her but anyways long story short um my dad was able to go and I don't know it was just then my mom like hits me up on her when she comes back from Mexico and I'm just like so irritated with her I was trying to fake being nice like talking to her you know but the whole time I'm thinking about my sister you know just like crying and you know just like family issues like as usual but yeah so that happened um and then my friend went to Arkansas and he came over the other day and visited with me and Sammy that was cool I guess he said that Arkansas is like so different. There's like it's all like thick trees, like forest, you know. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find this. Oh, here it is. Okay, now I'm using DMC three zero five one. It's like a greenish color. There's a lot of greens and browns in this painting. I love it. I'm not used to it. Um, but yeah, so we visited with him for a little bit, and then uh, what else did I do? Um, is that it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, th I think so. Oh, no, I wanted to tell you guys a funny story. You guys always know I have crazy um, <laughs> neighbor stories, right? Okay, so not the one I can't stand. Um, but there's a Mexican family that... It's like a dude and his dad, right? And his dad's like drinks a lot okay um am i doing nine sorry i'm getting distracted okay yeah um well i guess so he went to jail one night because this was like yeah this was last week um he got really drunk and started claiming the telephone pole out front of the trailer park and like i don't know like i don't i told sammy i'm like what what was he trying to get some electricity like i'm so confused but I guess the cops seen him and freaking he went to jail. Got arrested and went to jail. Then he comes back literally that night. The night he comes back from jail, he takes my neighbor, the one Sammy goes to work with, and gets in an argument with him. He's all drunk again. Gets a bat, puts him, makes him lay on the ground like some savage shit, right? And like draws out a freaking gun or something, like from what I heard and or from what we heard. And the cops come again. I'm like, dude. He just got home from jail like I guess you never learned your lesson the first time right like well I'm not the one to talk but still you know I'm just like Jesus like maybe we shouldn't want because like we're trying we were trying to request to move up front a while ago because of you know my issues with the neighbor but maybe I'm glad that we didn't because <laughs> that sounds a little worse I mean maybe about the same like as what I go through but I felt so bad for Jay like the neighbor you know I was like Jesus like what the hell did you say to him to piss him off so bad, you know? It was freaking the ghetto, you know? <laughs> I just couldn't believe that. And then I guess the manager came and gave him a warning and said, 
you know, if we hear anything else, anything else, you're out. Like, I was like, oh shit. Well, he better freaking behave. Like, you know, these people are just out of their minds. Like, sometimes I swear. I, w I was watching um, on Amazon Prime Video. What's it called? I think it's called Vanity Fair Confidential. It's like, you know, murder stories and stuff like that. Um, that Van Vanity Fair has covered in the past or you know, some journalism investigative thing. Anyways, and there was one where this dude who had mob ties, who was very rich, pretty much got away with three murders, admitted in court that he chopped, killed somebody, chopped up the body, because they found the body parts in the river. I mean, and got a month because of time served. A month? But then you hear people that are, just happen to be there sleeping in the car, you know, well, someone's getting murdered next to them and they get life. Like, I just don't understand. It's because that guy was rich and had like a bomb ass lawyer, but I'm just like, dude, how do these, how is this system think that that's like right? Like that poor family, you're like, I just, ugh, just crazy. Like, you know, he's, I think about certain things and I'm just like, what the F? Like, Jesus, come get me because this ain't it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know, I was just like, I've been watching a lot of those, uh, I've been hooked on that, uh, show for some reason, there's like four seasons, but it's pretty good, but anyways, yeah, so that happened, um, oh, and then the other neighbor who we bought a car from, who, uh, we lost, we got it towed, I don't know if I guys told you that, well anyways, we ended up buying a car, and it got towed, like, two days later, because Sammy didn't get the tags like he was supposed to, and that's the long story short, okay? I don't want to bore you with the freaking stupid details, but of my boyfriend's uh, idiocracy. But, um, <laughs> the dude tried to jam us up, the neighbor that sold it to us, like, for 200 bucks. Like, oh, you owe us $200. And I'm like, uh, no. I'm all, first of all, um, you were jamming us up four days later for the rest of the money because we paid him in payments, right? And,. All of a sudden you wait three months or two yeah two and a half months to uh you know for 200 bucks i'm like no like that's just not how he is like he's a greedy bastard you know it's just like i hate to say that but he is he's he like i just know how he his get down you know like he's greedy and he's cheapskate and everything else so i mean to each their own but it's like don't try to pull one on me dude you know you got the wrong one here so but yeah, anyways, so I told Sammy, I'm like, screw him, I'm not, we're not paying him, we don't have it anyways. And plus, we lost the car, and he wouldn't even give us the title because he lied to us and he had the title, and it clearly didn't because we never got it, you know? Like, okay, cool, yeah, we'll give you $200, where's the title? Oh, yeah, that's right, you don't have it because you lied. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh, so irritating. People always love to kick you when you're down, I swear. Like, he knows we got the car taken. Like, instead of feeling bad, he tries to get more money from us. It's like, dude, we paid you off. Like, I, I'm i really, really, really weird about money. Like, I know, you know, and if I owe something, like, I always make sure to write it down because I hate owing people and I always try and do, just get it over with right away, you know? Like, and so I know for a fact he was lying because... I'd be the first one to tell somebody like, dude, we gotta pay this dude back, like, ASAP, you know? So, yeah, that was freaking annoying, like, our neighbors are just so, ugh. Been on my freaking nerves the past months, but it is what it is, that's life, I guess. So, um, what am I doing this week? This week? Not much, um, oh, okay, so yeah, I'm getting that painting Thursday, um, the one I told you that, that's why I'm doing this one, I'm waiting on that one, so... Um, that's going to be the next painting I'm doing because that's going to be my niece's, my other niece's Christmas present, you know, so I could get it out of the way. Um, and I'll also be having another unboxing. I'm just waiting for it to come. It should be within the week though, but it's going to be the same company, but it's going to be three, two or three paintings in that one unboxing video. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be cool. Um, what else? Uh, couple, oh yeah, um, post, I know I've been posting a lot of post reviews, but I'm gonna have a DIY moon shop post review posted either, if Sammy goes to work tomorrow, which I think he is, I'm probably gonna post it on Wednesday, um, if he doesn't go to work, then I'll have it posted Thursday, 
um, come on. so yeah that's gonna be coming up as well uh, so yeah you guys stay tuned for that um, if you guys do go out this weekend before the July, July please be safe like get make sure you have a designated driver if you go out and drink like just be careful man you know it's just not worth drinking and driving plus there's gonna be mad cops out you know what I'm saying it's like the one weekend the cops are out like the most out of the whole year I think <laughs> and you don't want to get a DUI so yeah anyways um, sorry about the short whip and jet but that's gonna be probably about all I have to say hope you guys all have a great and safe weekend and I will see you guys next time bye hey everyone it's Jen